So I always find it amusing when overweight people try and give me uh, weight loss advice. <laughs> You're too thin. The cars make you fat, Harley. Carbohydrates make you fat. I read that in the Woman's Weekly magazine. Carbohydrates make you fat. I've got a big fat ass because I eat a lot of carbohydrates. Oh, I've got a big gut. I look like a pregnant man because I eat lots of steamed brown organic rice and I eat a lot of organic bananas and that's why I'm fat and obese. You just got to laugh. And nothing personal against any overweight people. My mum's obese. I'll still love her. But the reality is... People are fat for a reason. It's not their fucking genetics. It's not some metabolic syndrome bullshit. It's not, you know, because they're eating steamed brown rice or organic fruit platters or whatever. Like, people put, people put like to pretend in Australia and the US, they get fat from eating brown rice or, or organic jasmine rice or whatever. They like to pretend, oh, that's why I'm fat, because I'm really health conscious and I eat lots of uh, starches and I eat baked potato, I eat steamed potatoes even, no butter, no oil, but I'm obese because of that. <laughs> it's like, are you fucking serious? Let's just say you can go to every single fat person's house in the US or Australia as a fly. You fly into their house and you just watch what they eat. Are you, you honestly going to tell me that they're eating steamed potatoes with a bit of salsa or having fruit for dinner? Or fruit for breakfast, lunch, and tea. They're eating 80-10-10 raw vegan style or McDougal style vegan high carb low fat. You honestly telling me that? I tell these fat people, you know, like you... <laughs> I'll say, "Wow, you're fat, so you must be best friends with Doug Graham. You're obese, so you must be. You must have read all of Doctor McDougal's books." They're like, "Who's Doctor McDougal? Doug Graham? What? Isn't that too much fruit?" <laughs> so hang on, you don't eat much fruit, but you're still fat obese. How does that work? Oh, you don't eat brown rice, but you're still obese. How does that work? So I always find that amusing when overweight people try and give you nutritional advice. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's like, hang on, so carbs are bad. You don't eat much carbs, but you still got a walrus gut. What's up with that? Okay, so fruit's got too much fructose, and fructose makes you fat. And you don't eat much fruit, but your ass is so big, you could give it a postcode. Oh, low-fat diets make you fat, and the high-carb diets make you fat, so you got to eat high-fat to get slim. But you're so fat, you've got breasts on your back. So that's my little rant, because I find it sort of... I used to find it frustrating, but now I find it hilarious, because I know what the person's going to say. The overweight person, like my mum or whoever, is going to say, I don't eat too much carbohydrates, because they're very fattening. And it's like, what the fuck are you eating if you're not eating carbohydrates? Oh, that's right, you're eating fat. And that's why you're fat, because most of your calories come from fat. And you are what you eat. The fat sheets, the fat you wear... I open up my mum's pantry, I open up the freezer, I open up the fridge, and I go, wow, all this food in here, mum, this must be for a burglar in case a burglar comes in, breaks their leg, can't escape, and you're away for two weeks, they've got some rations to survive on. Oh, that's, that's who eats the steak, that's who eats the cream, that's who eats the eggs and the dairy and the tuna and the fish and all that stuff, and the olive oil in the cupboard, that's who eats it. You, you're fat because you eat the brown rice and the fruit, mum. Oh, I got it now, I understand it. So me and my mum, we had this conversation a lot, and it's, it just goes around in circles, and I don't get frustrated anymore, I just sort of laugh it off. But that's the reality of it. Fat people eat a lot of fat, you want to get fat, Load up on the fat, the fat you eat, the fat you wear. You want to be slim, trim, fit, healthy for life. High carb, low fat, vegan. Fruit's your friend. If you don't like fruit, load up on the starch. Easy as that. Dr. Graham, Dr. McDougal, Dr. Esselstein, Dr. Neil Bernard. Check out the people. Check out the authors. Take advice from people getting the results you desire. Don't take advice from fat people. If you want to be slim, take advice from drug-free, slim people who are living a lifestyle, who are feasting every meal. Take advice from them. Take advice from people getting the results you desire. Judge by results, never by theory. Peace. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Post your comments and questions down below. Boom. Have a great day.